Hello, Toronto! Yeah, I'm not in the countryside right now. I'm in Toronto. This is my Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday voice recording. A super special project that I finally get to tell you guys about. I am working with Audible to create an Audible original podcast, and it is sick. I got to write five short stories that are haunting and terrifying, and they did something different this time. So it's not like a podcast. They're short stories, and they've like put immersed some sound behind them and made them sound really really cool so we've been coming to wait what's the studio called it is called supersonics post-production yes we came here and it's so cool i got to go in a recording booth you're gonna see that here it was the nights that sarah had to coach herself through as soon as the sun dipped below the skyline and the purple of the sunset faded to black it's just such an interesting experience i also realized that i'm a very bad reader until i was corrected and now it sounds bomb and we got to do sound effects last night <laughs> I had to like cry like a little baby. I had to like hum and sing little songs. But honestly, some of these stories are so incredible. There are some stories I wanted to bring to life forever. I never knew if they were gonna be like full length chapter books or if they were gonna be short stories. But The Paradox is my absolute favorite. I can't wait for you to hear Darling. Honestly, I can't wait for you to hear all of them. I think like each one brings kind of like its own element and for these stories i really want to stick to like the classic a haunted house and exorcism like i wanted a little bit of taste in each and some of them are actually so scary that um they had a little bit of a warning put on them which makes me feel good about myself like i know i'm cheery and fun but i'm a dark girl inside my dudes so i have been working on these stories since oh my gosh april or may it has been a really long process but like we have created some literal magic. Um, a lot of us have worked together to like perfect the stories and make them magic and make them exactly what you want them to be and what I know you're gonna freaking love. And this is my first time doing something with Audible. Audible is something that I have used, oh my gosh, it goes back way to when I worked in a factory, like 2011, 2012. I feel like Audible was such a baby then, but I worked in a factory and I worked six days a week, 48 hours a week, and I would listen to audiobooks. And I think, in my library now, I have over a thousand audiobooks. <laughs> What's your favorite book on Audible? On Audible? Yeah. Probably The Haunting of Clandestine House. <gasps> my book? Yes. Oh my god. One of my favorites on Audible is actually The Help. I've listened to it so many times, it's like 20 hours long, but it's just done so well. But I've recently found out about immersive podcasts and I loved The Parkdale Haunt and um, the Sisters of Foxdale or something. Lock it down, listen to my stories. Sally's to see shows by the seashore. <laughs> I think that's enough for me. <laughs> uh, the porch light, Sarah was in the kitchen preparing two cups of herbal tea with a dash of honey. And she heard movements upstairs. Miss Wicket's bedroom was above the kitchen and it was evident. Oh guys, it is September now. I'm, I'm literally in a little tiny town near my house, picking up a pizza and I got an email. We got the episodes in, babes. We got the episodes in. I'm gonna run home. We're gonna listen to them real time together. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. I actually just sent off a bunch of clips to my friends. So I'm gonna show you their reactions too. So that's gonna be really cool. The cool thing I learned, I keep saying cool, cause it's cool. It's cool, 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 cool. Is that you guys actually get to listen to this free, free until November 3rd. So enjoy it, but let's go listen. Here we go. but Sarah still appreciated the flicker of sunshine. As the wind stirred, the dead branches scraped across the glass like nails across a chalkboard. It made the hair on Sarah's forearm stiffen. Shall I have a landscaper trim this tree? Miss Wicket didn't answer. She continued lifting spoonfuls of soup to her mouth with a wobbly